fiery horse with the speed of light, the cloud of dust, and a hearty hi Silver, the Lone Ranger. Transcontinental Railroad was one of the most important steps in the winning of the West. The railroad was of prime importance to the future of the country. But powerful forces, cattlemen, stagecoach lines, and steamship companies opposed it. Outlaw opposition sprang up, and the Lone Ranger was commissioned by the president to lead the fight against the enemies of progress. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoof beats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. There's danger on the trail ahead. Well, Silver, hi! At a cafe in the roaring town called End of Track, two men were facing each other at a table. Each of them held five cards in his hand. On the table in front of them was a stack of chips. One of the men wore a black coat and a black string tie. His hands were white and thin and his eyes sharp as flint. The other man was younger. He wore outdoor clothes and his face and hands were burned brown from the western sun. He was tense. Little muscles danced in the angles of his jaw. The crowd watching was tense, too. Don't do it, Vince. Throw your hand in. I'm playing this hand to the finish, Jed. Can't quit. I'm in too deep already. But a take Davis, you... maybe you ought to hire out as a nurse. If Walrus didn't know how to play poker, he had no call to sit down at the table and buy some chips. I ain't eat ten blues, Walrus. Are you seeing or have you had enough? I'll meet it. Oh, Vince. Let me be, Judd. Kino, leave the young fellow alone, mister. He's got confidence in his hand and he's playing it. All right, Walrus. How many cards? I'll play these. Well, standing pat, huh? Wish I could say the same. Dealer takes two. You opened, Wallace. I'll bet this. I raise you. I'll raise back. I raise again. Oh, Vince, don't be loco. Barton's a professional gambler. You man. can't buffalo me, Barton. Here's your raising up the same. Oh. You're mighty proud of those five cards, aren't you, Wallace? I'm backing them up with cash. Yeah. Looks like you got a month's salary from the railroad on the table. That's my affair. You throwing your cards... Rain up, Wallace. I'm still playing. I still raise. I need more chips. I'll buy them. Well, I'm out of cash. This is a cash game, Wallace. Well, I got a set of surveying instruments. How much will you get? Vince, you can't use them. It means your job. I've got a good hand. I'm playing it to the hilt. Barton, here's my set of instruments on the floor. Any railroad engineer will tell you they're worth 500 k. He cheated. Barton cheated. I saw him just just now. He's led the car off the bottom of the deck. Reach for your guns, Barton. No, you don't. Throw me a card sheet. Blazes, somebody shot up the lamps. Quick, out the back way. Let go of my arm. Who are you? Don't be a fool. Barton's got a dozen men. They'll start shooting blind. The place will be buzzing with bullets. Davis. I'm right here. Follow along. Sure thing, mister. This way. Get 
Quick. Now hold on, who attorney? Don't be a mule near Jack here, Spins. Keep traveling. Here's your horse ride. My horse. It was around in front of the cafe at the hitching rail. Well, I brought the horses around. Steady, boy. Come on, Vince, in the saddle. Talk on, I don't savvy this. First time holding a pat hand, then you yell at Barton, bottom deck the card, and then his hombre shoots out the lights. Well, as your pat hand wasn't any good. Barton's a card sharp and a cheat and a killer. He was building up to get an excuse to finish you. Why should he? Because you work for the railroad, that's why. Because you're a valuable surveying man. Putting you six feet under would hold up the building of the Great Central. Now will you. I keep him hurry. Pretty soon they come out There's here. No time for talk. If you insist on being stubborn, I'll have to put you on your horse myself. Hey! You're in the saddle, now get going. Here, Silver. We're heading north, but we'll see both of you later. Adios. Get him up. Come on. Adios. We head west. Come on, Vince. Head for home. I reckon I might as well. Get up, boy. Get up, there, boy. Come on, get up. Jed. Yeah. My brain's spinning like a dog chasing his tail. I began to say that you saved me from a mask. Oh, it wasn't me. I just followed the masked man's orders. Masked man? Are you local? That gent didn't wear a mask. Well, not tonight. He was disguised. Most of the time he wears a mask, Vince. That gent is the Lone Ranger. <laughs> Molly, you sure are a hand at making coffee. How about another cup? Oh, I don't know, Vince Walters. Uh, how about me, ma'am? Gladly, Jed. Here you are. <laughs> Thank you kindly. Well, hey, now, what kind of rowdy dow is this? <laughs> You'll give Jed Davis more coffee and you won't even let your own husband have another. I certainly won't. Well, you ought to be ashamed not having more sense than to get into a card game with a card shop like this, Barton. Oh, now, Molly. Don't now, Molly, me, Vince Walters. Supposing you'd have put up your surveying instruments, you'd be out of a job by now. But I didn't. Got my instruments right here. Small thanks to you. It was Jed Davis saved him, not you. Oh, not me, Molly. It was Lone Ranger. Anyway, it wasn't Vince. <laughs> what got into oh, you? Oh, I'm awful sorry, Molly. I guess it was card fever. <sighs> Most always you got sense, even when you play cards. Well, I had four jacks. I didn't see how I could be beat. Hmm. I bet Barton picked up the fourth ace. If it could be proved that hombre cheated, mm, I... It can't be proved. Turn the table over too fast. Well, anyway, I had my lesson. From now on, I stick to my surveying job. Only time I play poker is in a friendly game. (laughs) Now, that's more like Vince. Here. Here's your coffee. Well, thanks. (laughs) When do you go out surveying again, Vince? Oh, I reckon not for a while, Molly. We just come in a couple of days ago, ma'am. Riding herd on a row of stake lines where way out in wild country is an easy chore. Yes, I know. It's lonely country. Hmm. Lonely ain't the word for it, ma'am. It's way out past end of track. Out past the grading crews and even past the railroad buffalo hunters. When you get that far out, <laughs> you're all alone with nothing. Nothing except in rattlesnakes and gophers and wolves and antelope. Not to mention engines. Engines? Oh, now, Molly. Most always they pay no mind to us. Yeah, yeah, most always. <laughs> but it only takes one unfriendly redskin to lift your scalp. Oh, Jack. Hush that mouth of yours, you <laughs> blundering idiot. <laughs> Burn my tongue. I was just making talk, ma'am. Shucks, Vince has been out surveying plenty of times. He always comes back. Yep, and I always will, Molly. <laughs> Reckon the only place I can get scalped is sitting at a poker table. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's that? Somebody traveling this way? He's traveling mighty fast. Wallace! Vince Wallace! He shout my name. Let's see what's up. Oh, ho, oh, ho, oh, there! What are you, gents, is Vince Wallace? Well, that's me, mister. Howdy. What's wrong? Nothing, ma'am. My name's Spencer. Work for the Great Central. Got a message for Wallace. From who? Colonel Parker. Well, he's head of construction. What's he saying? I don't know. It's a note. Here you are. Oh, thanks. Keno, mister. Adios. 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 Yeah, adios. Adios. Oh, adios. Get up there, boy. Well, open it, Vince. Oh, yeah. Mm, it's from the colonel, all right. There's a signature right at the bottom. Well, I'll be, uh... Something wrong? It's gone just when I was figuring on resting up for a couple of days. Resting up for... Vince, you don't have to go out again. Got to go at once. Oh, no. It says so right here. I'm going to go out to Section 24 out past the Sagano, and it's got to be resurveyed. Well, I'll be doggone. That's where we just come from. I reckon something's wrong. According to this letter, the line I surveyed don't match up with the original one. Reckon there's no help for it, Jed. Saddle up the horses. We gotta set out right now. Uh, 
That place up ahead? Yes, that's where Walters lives. And we'd be there soon now. Yes. Otto, what do you think about Barton? Uh, him, he bad. He's a crooked gambler. There are a lot of crooked gamblers in the West. There's something more. Uh, what you mean? I think you know what I mean. Uh, maybe so. You know the outlaws are trying to smash the building of the railroad. Uh, they my iron spur. Everybody know about iron spur. They have money and they have no scruples. An evil combination, Tonto. Railroad beat them. The railroad's got to beat them. Nothing must stop the building of the railroad. All the way west to San Francisco. Tonto, I think Barton's in the pay of the iron spur. Mm, Tonto think that too. I think what happened last night was a deliberate attempt to kill Walters. Because he's a valuable railroad man. <laughs> Plenty good you there, huh? As soon as that trouble started, I shut out the lights. Davis and I got Walters out in time. Tonto here, five men wounded in fight afterwards. It's going to be our job to get Barton where he can't trick his way out of it. He's got to end up behind bars. You think Walters maybe helped do that? We'll ask him. Steady, Silver. Hold, 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 hold. Hold. Howdy, you're looking for some... Your mask. Oh, we friends. An outlaw and an Indian. It's all right. Your husband knows us. Uh, we were with him last night. Last night? Why... Well, you must be the Lone Ranger. Ah, him Lone Ranger, me Tonto. Oh, mister, I'm plumb sorry. Jed Davis and Vince told me all about you. Uh, I reckon you want to talk to Vince. Yes, please. Well, you're too late, mister. Him and Jed Davis rode out this morning. What's that? Yes, heading for the line west of the Segundo. To do more surveying? Mm-hmm. But I thought your husband and Davis just came back. Why should they go out again so soon? Uh, a note from Colonel Parkman. Here, read it yourself. Vincent Wallers. Order for resurvey, section 24. Mrs. Wallers, do you mind if I take this note back to the end of track? What? Tonto will stay here with you. I'll be back very soon. Uh, Tonto, stay, Kimosabe. Adios till later. Come on, Silver. Why, that horse is traveling like a prairie fire. What's it all about, Tonto? Uh, Tonto, not savvy. We wait. Mask friend, him come back plenty quick. Silver galloped all the way. Mask man, you found out something? Colonel Parkman never signed this note, Mrs. Walters. He never gave out any such orders. What's that? You spoke to the colonel himself? No, but I have ways of getting accurate information. But I just don't understand. What reason would anyone have to play a joke? Mister? Barton. Slick Barton. I'm not sure, ma'am. Who else could it be? Slick Barton tried to cheat my husband at cards last night. He sent that fixed-up note to draw my husband and Jed Davis out into the wild country. They won't stand a chance. Mister, you got to do something. We'll do our best, Mrs. Walters. Yes, Scout. Tonto and I will hit the trail now. We have plenty of ammunition, Tonto. Huh? Plenty bullet, but no food. I'll fix you some vittles right now. You can pack it in your saddlebags. There's no time for that, Mrs. Walters. Tonto and I have lived off the country before this, and we can do it again. We're heading west, Tonto. West of the Segundo, mass man. Adios. West of the Segundo. Get him up, Scout. Come on, Silver. <laughs> Like a coyote, Vince. Yeah. Funny how the country changes as soon as you get west of the Segundo. <laughs> looks, uh, well, looks downright unfriendly. Oh, forget it. Like there was a painted engine lurking behind every tree and a mountain lion licking his chops on top of every rock. Don't be loco. Sun's going down, Jed. Reckon we better stop right here for the night. Yeah. It'll be dry camp. No water for miles. Our canteens are full. Steady, steady, horse. What are you acting so nervous for? There's nothing around here. Get him right down! Say, you wouldn't blaze here. It's Barton. Barton and the gang are cutthroats. Grab your gun. Don't give them a chance. Get them before they get the guns from their holsters. They'll never get away. Not now. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
Now to continue our story. It was night when the Lone Ranger and Tonto reached the Segundo following the trail of the two surveyors. The moon had risen. On the east side of the shallow stream, the ground was level and fertile. But on the far side, the ground was broken. Judas trees and giant cacti looked like strange ghosts in a pale landscape. It was forbidding country, and the masked man knew it. Right up, Tonto. Right up. You must have it. Trail clear moonlight. Flats go straight into water. We follow, huh? No, right up on this side. Steady, some more. Oh, 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 oh. They're quicksand, the Segundo Tonto. Might gallop straight into one. Ah, oh, but plenty quicksand. But trails show on the other side of water. That means no quicksand here. Still, we're going to wait. Wait for what, huh? For morning, Kimosabe. Oh. For two reasons. First of all, you know how the land changes on the western side of the river. That's right. Ground get rocky. Too rocky to follow a trail by moonlight. You might lose it completely. Uh, I do not think of that. Besides, that whole country is treacherous. In between the rocky patches are sinks and potholes. Quicksand that can swallow a dozen horses and their riders. But what about Walters and Davis? We can't help them trailing blind. Tomorrow morning, we'll cross the other bank and pick up the trail again. Maybe they already ambushed, huh? They've run into Barton and his men, and Barton shot to kill, and then we're too late to help them. If Barton wanted them alive, then he'll keep them alive, at least for a while. And we camp here, Tonto. Kinsel. Yeah, Barton? You keeping watch? Sharp as the way you play poker, Barton. Moon's so bright, I can see almost as far as the Segundo. If anybody comes heading west, I'll spot him in plenty of time. Kino, keep on watching. I'm going to talk to Walters and Davis. Right. Howdy, Pedro. You keeping watch? Si, senor. Hey, watch good. How do you, hombres? Keeping watch? Yes, yeah, sir. <laughs> I reckon it'll take a shadow to surprise us tonight. Howdy, Barton. Howdy, Spencer. Well, gents, are you, you nice and comfortable? Yeah, as comfortable as a couple of jackrabbits and a nest of rattlesnakes. Why didn't you shoot us down and be done with it, Barton? No, no, no. That's no way to talk, Davis. I'm right friendly. Friendly? You're a pack of wolves. <laughs> Make up your mind. First it's rattlesnakes and then it's wolves. Make up your mind. Mm, I can't. I don't know which is worse. <laughs> you sure are a comical cuss, Davis. Oh. Oh, you having a mite of trouble with your shoulder, Walters? Now, that's too bad. I told the boys not to shoot at you. Yeah, I'll bet you did. It's a fact. You see, Walters, I don't like to have my poker games interrupted. But you and Davis call me, don't set easy with me. It's been bothering me. I meant to finish you last night at the gambling hall. I'm still of the same mind. Why didn't you shoot us down like Jed says? Oh, no, 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 Walters. That's too easy. You die too quick. No. Last night, I sat up thinking about you two hombres. The Iron Spur's paying me to get rid of you because you're valuable to the railroad. But now I got extra reasons, my own reasons. That's why I want to get a lot of satisfaction out of the way you die. You savvy? The way we die? Yeah, sort of a, a slow death. I'll enjoy it more. Why, well, you want to be pulled down, down, Davis? This gun might go off sudden. You planned this right from start to finish, Barton, didn't you? You even sent this hombre out with a note. Colonel Parkman never wrote that note. Sure, I wrote it. Pretty good copy, wasn't it? You forged signatures as well as cheated cards, don't you? By you. No. No, you can't get me riled, Davis. Nothing can get me riled. Not when I got my revenge all figured out. Oh, my arm could do with a little fix Oh, why, Fred... This time tomorrow night, your arm won't bother you. Nothing will bother you. What do you mean? You'll be under the ground, both of you. More than six feet under. But we won't have to bury you. I don't savvy. Vinci, he means quicksand. Quicksand? Yeah, Walters. Tomorrow the boys will pick out a nice patch. And then tomorrow evening, we take you there and drop you in. <laughs> Just about... Uh, Sundown tomorrow. <laughs> Toto, right up. Who's got Oh, who's oh, oh, Silver? Up around, came or something. Look up ahead. We found them. Oh, Martin and gang, huh? And they've got Wallers and Davis with them. What they do? Well, the sun's going down, Toto. They won't notice us behind this rock. We'll watch and see. 
Take your lariat and shake it loose. Uh huh? Go ahead. We may need our ropes. Now watch. If the time comes, we may have to move in fast, odds or no odds. Yeah, take a good look at it, Walters. It's as neat a patch of quicksand as you ever saw, huh? Make sure they're tied good and tight, Spencer. Yeah, they're tied up like steers for the branded. Kino, lift them off their horses. In the hand, Kinsel. Yeah. Now, Davis. That's right. Yeah. Say, what's the matter with you two hombres? Haven't you got anything to say? This is murder, Barton. You know that. Oh, that's sure an original remark. Can you do better, Davis? They'll get you for this, Barton. You may kill us, but you'll never stop the railroad. They'll come after you. The army will come after you. And you'll hang for it when the rope's around your neck. <laughs> Maybe you look out and see the railroad train going by. <laughs> the Iron Spur will finish the railroad the same as we're finishing you. You'll sink, so will the railroad. Oh, oh that shoulder's still troubling you, Walters? Well, forget it. You know, uh, some quicksand don't look like quicksand. Some of it's mighty deceptive. Got grass growing over it, just like regular prairie grass. Fellow might blunder right in before he knows it. But not this patch. It's just bare sand, isn't it? Wet and shiny. <laughs> not even a tenderfoot could mistake about this stand. <laughs> yeah, when they send out a search party and find hoof marks all around here, they'll know you didn't walk into it. They'll know it was murder. They'll know the iron spur did it. Yeah, that's just what we want them to know. Sundown, Barton. Kino, grab him. Swing him and throw him in right in the middle. All right, Come Pedro, on. Davis. Take Walter's feet, you two. Jed. Jed. Adios, Vince. Adios, Jed. Swing him. And let him go when I say three. One. Two. Three. <laughs> right plumb center. Now stand around, boys, and watch him sink out of sight. Stand around and watch him sink. What in blazes? Barton, there's two riders. The masked man and the Indian. They're swinging ropes. The masked man shooting. Look out! Faster, Silver! Faster! The outlaws raced their horses, grabbed their guns. The ranger had planned well. In a flash, Silver and Scout stopped and whirled the far edge of the big sand. The masked man and the Indian spun their lariats. The loops dropped and tightened over the bodies of the two men knee deep in the bog. Then a shout from the lone ranger. Oh, Silver! Pull them out! Get him up! The two horses moved away from the bog. The top ropes fastened to the saddle horns pulled the two men loose from the clutching quicksand. Hello, left Davis on scout. Silver will carry Walters. Easy, mask man, my shoulder. We've got to hurry, Walters. I'll be as easy as I can. Steady, Silver. You Hit. get up on scout, Davis. I'm tired, Engine. I can't hold on. I'm going to hold you on. All right, hello, Gallop. Head east for the Segundo. Hurry, Barton's men are already circling the quicksand. Get him on scout. Hello, Silver. Surprise! Did you see that, Martin? They had their lariats already. They threw ropes around Walters and Davis and bulldogged them right onto solid ground. If we hadn't had to circle around the quicksand, we'd have caught them easy. Shut up, you armory. Shut up and listen uh, to me. There's a dozen of us. We can outgun them any time. Yeah, that's just it, Spencer. That's just what we're going to do. We're going to ride after them and catch them. Are you local, Barton? Those horses are fast. Sure, they're fast, but they're carrying double. Look, they're not so far ahead. That's so. Get doggone right, Kinsel. It's one thing for us to try and catch the masked men and the Indian when they're riding single. But this time we got him. Now ride. We'll catch him long before they even get to the Secunda run. Ride. Fast, Grim. I can see Bart with his outlaws. I can see him clear in the moonlight. They're catching up on us. Yes, I see them. You can't outrace him with a horse carrying double. No use trying to save us. Drop us off and go on yourself. Stay where you are. Vince is right, mister. Forget about it. You stand, Scout. You'll never make the Segundo. You're not even heading the right way. Hello, here's where we swing. This way, Scout. Now, what tarnation did you do that for? They gained a good 50 feet just because our horses circled that patch of grass. Now you're slowing up. Mass man, what's the idea? We know what we're doing. We know all about that patch of grass. But they're coming lickety split, a dozen of them. You can't fight them all. Let them come, Wallace. Let them come. They're slowing down. The horses must be played out. Down to a walk. Go right for them. There's only a couple of hundred feet past that patch of grass. There's rock on both sides of that section. Buddy. Yeah, there's plenty of room for all of us. Davis and Walters got no guns. It's just the ten of us against those two. Come on, right, right on through. Right on. Put the horses down. I can't get off. Button, button is quicksand. 
Ranger and Tonto rode back toward them. The fight was completely gone from the men of the Iron Spur. Horses and riders alike struggled for their lives in the grip of the quicksand. Men dropped their guns, clawing over each other, trying to get the solid ground. Help! Help! Get me out! I'm sinking! Help! Get me out of here! Quiet! Quiet, all of you! Listen! Best man, save me! Save me! Keep quiet, Bart! Listen to me! What did I knew about this patch of quicksand? Deliberately led you into it. I knew you'd be too anxious to catch us to even notice it. You can't leave us here. It's murder. That's what you tried to do to us. In the name of mercy, help. I'm up to my way. There's no more fight left in you. No, just get me out. Just get me out. That's all I ask. You can't let us die. Who's in jail? Do anything with All you. right, we'll get you out. I see most of you have lost your guns. Throw the rest down at once. All right, here's mine. Hello, here's my rope. Davis and Walters will help you. Yeah, we're untied now. Get the horses out first. They'll have more lariats. You shouldn't have any trouble getting everyone safely out of the quicksand. We'll tie them up tighter in a funnel of a twister. All right, Silver. You must have you go now. Yes, Toto. I'll ride to the end of track and bring out an army detail to take these men in charge. I'll see you later. Adios. Hey, you can't leave now. You said you'd save us. You got us. Shut your mouth, Barton. Maybe you're used to dealing off the bottom of the deck and cheating on your word. But the Lone Ranger always does what he says. Nobody's leaving you. We're pulling you out. Ah, we pull you out and put you in jail. Here, here come row. you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.